Our final presentation team this afternoon is the University of Wisconsin Platteville. Think about how many smokeless tobacco users you know. Smokeless tobacco is a generational habit and widely used across the United States. Tobacco is the leading cause of cancer and preventable deaths in the United States. There are more than 30 cancer-causing chemicals associated with the production of smokeless tobacco. Each year, over 30,000 people will be diagnosed with mouth or throat cancer, and of these, nearly 8,000 will die. In 2015, this statistic became all too real for Joe. Joe lost his father to a long, drawn-out battle with mouth cancer. Joe and his father chewed and farmed together for a vast majority of their lives before Joe's father's life was cut short. The loss of Joe's father hit Joe and the farm hard. With the declining alfalfa market and Joe's desire for his father to not become just another statistic, he founded the company Alpha Alternatives and created the product Alpha Chew. Founding the company allowed Joe to use his own alfalfa as a value added product rather than selling it at the low current market prices. Alpha Chew is a smokeless tobacco alternative that combines alfalfa, honey, paprika, and ascorbic acid. This is the first product released by Alpha Alternatives. The product did well, and Joe wanted to release another product due to the consumer demand for more convenient alternative as well as beneficial flavors. So he created the product, Alpha Pouches. Alpha Pouches combine the same ingredients as his original product, but come in or compacted into pouches similar to tea bags and come in two beneficial flavors, cinnamon and menthol. Cinnamon is high in antioxidants, which help reduce the risk of cancer and several of the most common risk factors associated with heart disease, like high cholesterol. Menthol aids in sore throats, coughs, oral irritation, as well as improves oral hygiene. Alpha pouches are also vitamin and mineral rich with calcium, iron, potassium, as well as vitamins A, C, and E, and includes honey to stimulate the oral glands to reduce the craving for nicotine. With the combination of all of these ingredients, Alpha Alternatives new and improved Alpha pouches will have the additive of healthy flavors while helping people to quit their bad habit. Joe hired us, a pioneer consulting firm, to develop a marketing plan for his new product. After conducting market research, it has been determined that consumers desire a more hands-free experience, uniform serving size, improved oral hygiene, and beneficial flavors. Our market research is consistent with a study done by the United States National Library of Medicine, National Institute of Health, and shown in Figure X, where study participants who started with a flavored option preferred to continue using a flavored option, and those that started with a traditional smokeless tobacco also preferred to switch to a flavored option. By offering two additional flavors, alpha alternatives, alpha pouches, will meet the consumer demand for beneficial flavors. I will now hand it over to Allison. Thank you, Hunter. In 2015, 359,000 individuals switched from cigarettes to smokeless tobacco, also known as chew. More often than not, this change was caused by a false perception that led consumers to believe that smokeless meant less harmful. Even though with traditional smokeless tobacco, consumers are being exposed to 30 additional cancer-causing chemicals. Alpha Pouches offers an alternative that has a significantly lower risk of causing cancer while still maintaining the high level of discreteness in the workplace and other banned smoking areas. Alpha Pouches offers a product that is spitless, which allows consumers to continue their daily routine with minimal interruptions. Due to an increased demand for flavored options, Alpha Alternatives extended their product line into a flavored pouch form. This aligns with the trend of looking for a hands-free product as well as a cleanlier option compared to traditional smokeless tobacco. For our primary research, we surveyed over 2,300 individuals in Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana. 
Of those 2,300 individuals, 75% live the Western lifestyle, 33% use tobacco consistently, and 70% have relapsed. Our research showed that the primary reasons for smokeless tobacco use were stress, withdrawal, alcohol, and energy, stress being the dominating factor. Alpha pouches will be targeted towards smokeless tobacco users ages 18 and older that live the Western lifestyle, which means they're active, they love the outdoors, and they're more willing to buy products from people they can relate to from rodeos, stock shows, and or country concerts. Alpha pouches will be targeted towards smokeless tobacco users who live the Western lifestyle, much like Robert, who currently is a student at University of Colorado Boulder majoring in accounting. He likes to attend rodeos in his spare time, and he currently chews two cans of smokeless tobacco per week, totaling $520 in the past year. And Branson, a fourth generation rancher from Montana who currently chews five cans per week and has for decades. In the past year, he has spent a total of $1,300 on smokeless tobacco products. Alpha Alternatives is located in Fort Collins, Colorado, which allows easy access to three of the leading states with the highest smokeless tobacco use. The city borders Weld County, which is the number one county in Colorado for alfalfa production. Alpha pouches will be targeted in Colorado in year one, Wyoming in year two, and Montana in year three. Alpha pouches will be targeted in Colorado in year one due to the Alpha Alternatives headquarters located in Fort Collins. Colorado itself has a rate of 7.6% of adults using smokeless tobacco, which gives Colorado a market potential of over 315,000 people. Geographically, they will then move north to Wyoming, which has an above average rate of adults using smokeless tobacco at 8.8%, compared to the national average of 8%. This gives Wyoming a market potential of over 35,000 people. They then will move to Montana in year three. Montana adults use smokeless tobacco at a rate that is double the national average. This gives Montana a market potential of over 117,000 individuals. In addition to smokeless tobacco use, Colorado and Montana rank in the top 10 for alfalfa production nationally. Market size will grow from over 6,000 in year one to over 10,000 in year two, and will grow to a size of over 17,000 in year three. This makes for a strong market for alpha pouches to be focused in for years one through three. I'll now pass it on to Charity. Thank you, Allison. In order to create a better understanding of alpha pouches, a detailed SWOT analysis was completed. The strengths are that one, it is the only tobacco and nicotine free alternative made from pouches. Made, <laughs> it's the only tobacco and nicotine free pouches made from alfalfa. Two, the ingredients provide oral health benefits. Three, alpha pouches are made for a hands-free experience causing no mess. And four, the realistic taste provides a smooth transition for smokeless tobacco users. The weaknesses include one, that there are only two flavors currently on the market, and two, a slower customer acceptance of the alfalfa ingredient. However, the opportunities for alpha pouches are many. They include, one, that there's an opportunity for additional healthy flavors. Two, there are many relapsed customers as almost 70% of chew users have quit for a certain period of time and then began chewing again. And three, there's room for product enhancement by placing the products in additional retail locations. The potential threats faced are, one, established competitors developing pouches, and two, a very competitive tobacco alternative industry. After a thorough analysis of the competitors, Alpha Pouches came out on top. Alpha Pouches are low cost, similar to Timberwolf and Grizzly, and have the similar realistic feel to Skull in Copenhagen, but, those competitors all contain tobacco, nicotine, and have high health risks. Alpha pouches stands out as they do not contain those bad ingredients. The ingredients of alpha pouches provides healthy flavor options compared to those traditional tobacco products that have been trapped users in the past. Similar to Cowboy Chew, alpha pouches has lower health risks. And when comparing alpha pouches to Holt, those two both contain alfalfa. But both Cowboy Chew and Holt come at a higher price. Back Off and Smoky Mountain are most similar to Alpha Pouches in that they have lower health risks, contain no tobacco or nicotine, and come in pouches. Yet, Alpha Pouches provides an unmatched level of benefits to help address those health issues mentioned earlier. Alpha Pouches is committed to the customer's interest by providing a healthy and cost-effective product. As mentioned earlier, Branson spends $1,300 on chew each year. By switching to alpha pouches, he could save over $500 annually. As you can see, alpha pouches are the next elite tobacco and nicotine-free alternative 
in this continuously evolving tobacco alternative industry. Paige will now enlighten us on the business proposition and action plan. Thank you, Charity. The strategy statement simply coincides with our beliefs about tobacco use. Alpha pouches are the safe tobacco and nicotine free chew alternative made primarily from alfalfa plants. With aggressive promotions and sponsorships of Western events, Alpha Alternatives will successfully market this healthy alternative to consumers and provide needed additional income opportunities for Joe. To be successful, Alpha Pouches will have the following key planning assumptions. The price of alfalfa will continue to decrease due to overproduction. Regulations on tobacco chew will favor the use of the tobacco-free chew pouch. And chew users will continue to be educated on the negative impacts of smokeless tobacco and will become more aware of the benefits of the tobacco-free alternatives. Alpha Pouch's reachable goals consist of generate 75% product awareness by year three, retain 50% customer base each year, capture 2% of the market share in year one, 3% in year two, and 4% in year three. By highlighting the benefits of Alpha Pouches, the task of reaching our set goals will be a simple one. Alpha Alternatives offers a realistic experience with the tobacco and nicotine-free Alpha Pouches, allowing for a simple transition for tobacco users. The contents inside of Alpha Pouches consist of alfalfa, honey, paprika, and ascorbic acid, which are packaged inside a tea bag like pouch, making for an easier, hands-free experience. The pouches are packaged inside a one and a half ounce can with healthy flavor options of cinnamon and menthol. Alpha pouches will be sold in individual cans to retailers at $2.15 and $2.99 to consumers. Each unit costs an average of $1.15 to produce, and our pricing allows for an 87% Alpha pouches markup and a 39% retailer markup. Each year, there will be a 10 cent increase in price to our retailers. Across our target regions, Alpha pouches will be located in gas stations. In Colorado, Alpha Pouches will be placed at Shell and Come and Go stations, Sinclair stations in Wyoming, and Town Pump stations in Montana. Within these stores, Alpha Pouches will be located behind the counter, along with regular smokeless tobacco products, to allow our customers to locate the product in a familiar location. Kaylin will now continue with the promotions. Thank you, Paige. Pioneer Consulting Firm is excited to utilize aggressive marketing campaigns that will focus on first impact, customer outreach, education, and customer incentives. In First Impact, Alpha Pouches will attend the Country Jam Music Festival in Grand Junction, otherwise known as the biggest party in Colorado. Brand ambassadors will hand out free sample pouches, along with other promotional items throughout the entire week. The National Western Stock Show is a 16-day event held in Denver, Colorado. In 2017, there were record crowds of over 700,000 people in attendance to watch the various shows and rodeos. Here, Alpha Pouches will be sponsoring the Grand Champion Livestock Show where the company name will be featured on the banner. In customer outreach, Pioneer Consulting Firm will utilize rural events to promote Alpha Pouches. During the concert season, Alpha Pouches will be sponsoring country music star Granger Smith. During his concerts in the target region, he will take 30 seconds out of his concert time to talk about his personal struggle with smokeless tobacco abuse and how Alpha Pouches changed his life. He will also provide sponsored Facebook posts and a Snapchat filter in the area of his concerts. At the annual Colorado Farm Show in Greeley, Colorado, which offers resources to farmers of all agricultural industries, Alpha Pouches will have a booth during the exhibitor show at this three-day event. Brand ambassadors will hand out free sample pouches along with a full page advertisement in the brochure. The Montana Pro Rodeo Circuit Final is an event that cowboys and cowgirls travel all the way to Great Falls to see annually. On the last day of the event, Alpha Pouches will be sponsoring the annual rodeo performance prior to the finals. Brand ambassadors will hand out promotional items along with a few complimentary cans of Alpha Pouches to a few lucky winners in the crowd. Next, radio ads will be played frequently and Alpha Pouches will be featured in magazine ads. And lastly, the Alpha app is a simple tool that will allow customers to track their progress to becoming free of tobacco addiction. Every day, they will receive a notification asking if they went the full day prior without the use of smokeless tobacco with the help of Alpha Pouches. With each significant milestone, 
they'll receive a discount off one can and the option to scan the barcode to receive more rewards. Tobacco addiction is a serious problem the Alpha Pouches wants to combat. Education programs will start at the National High School Rodeo Association. Brochures will be handed out to high school age students about the dangers of smokeless tobacco. Another educational opportunity comes in hospitals and dentist offices. In year two, entering Wyoming, Alpha Pouches will collaborate with the American Dental Association to form a focus group on the oral hygiene impacts of Alpha Pouches. As we move into customer incentives, we will be targeting social media and gas stations. Facebook will provide customer testimonials along with other free giveaways and other content posted using the hashtag lose the chew and be the alpha. Also, t-shirts and koozies will be handed out at different events with the logo printed on it. At participating gas stations, ads will be displayed on the LCD digital gas pumps. On the screen, a 15 second clip of alpha pouches will be played and the customer will find a 10% off coupon for one can on their receipt. As you can see, Pioneer Consulting Firm will utilize aggressive marketing campaigns to reach out to their target market, influencing them to quit their tobacco habit. Logan will now continue on with financials. Thanks, Kaylin. Alpha Alternatives assumes that consumers will purchase three cans per week, resulting in 156 cans per year. In addition, there will be a 50% customer retention rate each year. With this customer base, Alpha Alternatives gross sales will be $2.1 million in year one and will increase to $7.3 million by year three. The net sales of Alpha Pouches will be $2 million in year one, $3.6 million in year two, and by year three, they'll increase to $7 million. The gross margin of Alpha Pouches will be $1 million in year one, and by year three, it will increase to $2.8 million. Alpha Alternatives will implement an aggressive marketing campaign throughout all three years. This will allow them to maintain consumers year after year. In the pre-launch, there will be an investment of $700,000 in marketing expenses. And by year three, this will increase to $1.5 million. The net income of Alpha Pouches will be at a deficit in year one of just over $300,000. But by year three, this will increase to $1.1 million. Alpha Alternatives will purchase their hay from Joe at the price of $250 per ton, with one ton equaling 64,000 cans. If Joe is unable to meet the demand on his own, Alpha Alternatives will purchase their hay from other local providers as well. With Alpha Pouches being available at a low convenient cost with many health benefits, it will remain profitable for many years to come. And now Hunter will explain monitoring and measuring. Thank you, Logan. At Pioneer Consulting Firm, we have set goals for Alpha Alternatives so they're able to help their customers lead a healthier, tobacco-free lifestyle and break free from the shackles of nicotine addiction. To ensure customer satisfaction, we have set in place a plan to monitor and measure Alpha Alternatives product awareness, customer retention, and market share. To generate 75% product awareness by year three, we'll measure Alpha Alternatives social media, app, and booth promotions with a survey. If Alpha Pouches meets expectations, then we'll advise Alpha Alternatives to continue investing in the current marketing scheme while looking for innovative ideas such as the Alpha Rewards program. <laughs> if Alpha Alternatives fails to meet expectations, then we will review the feedback from, Al from the Alpha Alternatives social media and expand the utilization of booths at targeted events. We will also advise Alpha Alternatives to continue to push brand awareness through new magazines and have a widespread radio campaign. We have set the goal of retaining 50% of our customer base through the first three years. We have put in place a survey for Alpha Pouch users with promotional codes to incentivize the customers to continue doing business with us. If Alpha Pouches meets expectations, then we will advise Alpha Alternatives to start selling their product in other states. If Alpha Alternatives fails to meet expectations, then we will review the marketing scheme and pricing strategies. Through measuring Alpha Alternatives monthly sales reports, we will be able to obtain a 2% market share in year one, 3% in year two, and 4% in year three. If Alpha Pouches meets expectations, then we'll advise Alpha Alternatives to start selling their product in other stores, such as Walmart. If Alpha Pouches fails to meet expectations, then we'll increase promotional efforts for flavors that are underperforming. To show Joe the success of his company, we have calculated his returns on investments for marketing. In year one, Joe will have a negative 14% return on investment, but this increases to 21% in year two, and quadruples in year three to 82%. 
Joe will also be selling his hay to Alpha Alternatives as a value-added product, getting an extra $81 per ton. This equates into an extra $5,000 a year for Joe's farm in year three. If you add the additional money Joe's receiving from his hay and the additional money Joe's receiving from his company Alpha Alternatives, then his yearly income will go up over $100,000 in year two and over a million dollars in year three. Through monitoring and measuring these goals we have set in place for Alpha Alternatives, we believe we can help change many's lives. Don't let yourself or someone you know become a statistic. Make the switch today. Become an Alpha with Alpha Pouches. We'll now entertain any questions. I'm curious about your um, product packaging and um, I'm interested on why as much as you've talked about some of the health benefits, you didn't bring the tobacco-free alternative forward on your packaging versus um, the, what is it, the uh, alfalfa chew. Did my question make sense? So we really wanted to drive home the fact that alfalfa was used as the main ingredient in this alternative as well as those beneficial flavors that are on the outside of the packaging. The packaging also has a very bright white logo on the mm -hmm. outside where traditional tobaccos use a very dark logo. How do I as a consumer benefit from alfalfa versus the benefit of tobacco free? This product has additional healthy flavors of cinnamon and menthol which have uh, healthy benefits to them in and of themselves as well as that honey and the paprika. Okay, I've got a question and I want to make sure I'm getting my math right here. <clears throat> On your first page, you say there's 5.6 million cans of smokeless tobacco pouches sold in uh, gas stations in 2016. In Colorado, you're estimating that you're going to sell 49 million cans in year one. Of, is that, am I reading that right? 49 million cans per year. Yes, that'll just be our market potential. So if we had everybody switch <coughs> from tobacco-free alternatives and tobacco um, products to switch solely to alpha pouches, that would be how many cans we would Okay, sell. so that's the overall potential. Yes, idea. that's correct. Okay. Can you talk a little bit about perhaps the decision to not partner with some of the state's um, anti-smoking organizations? Obviously, there's a lot of money in tobacco settlement dollars, and that doesn't seem to be appearing anywhere here when you have a great story to tell for an alternative to tobacco. Absolutely. So Joe has his original product in Alpha Chew, and it was just something he wanted to to do because of his father's death. And then he realized that there was a larger market and a larger audience for this product and for an alternative. That's why he decided to partner with Pioneer Consulting Firm to really market this second product into those three additional states. He felt that the, the just the overall oral benefits of using honey and using cinnamon mm -hmm. and using menthol were uh, a great driving point for his product and he didn't feel the need to market or partner with additional uh, agencies. You, um, you talk in, um, I believe it was year two, that you're gonna work with the American Dental Association and the tactic that I recall was a focus group. Um, can you tell me why you're doing that in year two and why it's a focus group and what the results of that are going to be? So that focus group is coming from current Alpha Chew or Alpha Pouch users from Colorado as that is our targeted, the targeted market in year one. So entering Wyoming in year two, they, we, the product already has that consumer base in Colorado. That's where the focus group will come from and that focus group will give us information on um, how often they use the product, how much they truly enjoy it, how much it's changed their lives, benefited their oral hygiene overall, and that information we'll use to then market the product in years two and years three to Wyoming and Colorado. In your plan of action, you talk about traditional advertisements and you say radio ads will be played frequently. What do you mean by frequently? Do 
during the day you listen to the radio and you hear tons of advertisements, it'll just be another one of those that gets played on the radio. In addition, we're projecting that it'll be played twice daily on larger radio stations. Um, for all year round? Yes, that's correct. Okay. The second question to that is, you said it'll be featured in magazine ads. Do you have a list of magazines that you're targeting for this? So they will be targeting magazines that fit the Western lifestyle, such as uh, the Western Horseman and Field and Stream with others. Can you explain your justification for that spend when you're targeting one state your first year? Because those are national publications. Do you have an online sales opportunity? What if somebody sees it in Utah that loves the Western lifestyle? Good question. So that'll be accounted for in our incidental sales. We've noticed that Colorado is a very tourist place, and so that, that's where um, those customers will come in there. Okay. Can you talk a little more about specifics behind the Western lifestyle demographic? Because it's a pretty big range from a college kid to a fourth or fifth generation farmer. Mm -hmm. So specifically, what are the attributes that you look at there? From our primary research, when we did do the survey of over 2,300 people of that region, we set out many attributes of different lifestyles, and those were the most frequent picked, and that they also classified themselves, their lifestyles, as Western. They did that themselves. So what does that mean? I mean, what, what did they say they do? What did, how do they consume media specifically? What makes them say, I'm a Western lifestyle person? Sure. Um, we broke down the Western lifestyle from the top um, categories in our in our survey as people that love the outdoors, they're active, and they're more willing to buy products from people they can relate to from rodeos, stock shows, and or country concerts. Okay. On your, I'm trying to find it, maybe it's more specific somewhere else, but how much, I, I couldn't find it in your marketing expenses for the sponsorship fee at the National Western for the steer uh, mm -hmm. thing. I, <coughs> what is that? How much, <coughs> how, I don't see it, it's, you know, it might be broken down more tactically somewhere else, but. So, us sponsor Alpha Pouch is sponsoring the uh, Grand Champion Show. Will cost us ten or cost Alpha Alternatives ten thousand dollars for the sponsorship. Okay. Where's that represented in your financials? Sorry, where's that represented in your financials? Oh, uh, that is in the marketing expenses under promotions. Under promotions. Under trade promotions. Uh, no, it's in a separate category. The trade promotions is our booth. Uh, the promotions are not listed in the executive summary. That's broken down in the marketing expenses. So um, getting uh, product placement in national and major regional gas stations is a pretty big deal. What steps will you be uh, taking to get your products placed on their shelves? As already being an, an existed company by Joe, um, he already had Alpha Chew just located in Colorado, so we have those pre-existing relationships already. Um, and so once our product still gains that product awareness, then it'll be easier to get into those, into um, Colorado, or already in Colorado, and then Wyoming and Montana. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my simple uh, math here, I believe. Market share, you say, is 49 million cans of uh, in Colorado for your one. I take 64,000 cans, one ton of hay will make 64,000 cans of chew. So I divide that um, through all that and I, I'm coming up with about the, if, if you had 100% market share, I think Joe on his own farm will be able to raise all the alfalfa necessary. Because I, if I did my math right, he will only need to produce 770 tons. Colorado probably get four to five ton per acre. Is that right? The average for North, or for Colorado is four tons per acre. Yeah. So that means Joe, he will need about <coughs> a couple hundred acres, 250 acres of hay. Right? Did I do that math right? <laughs> yes, but that's not including alpha alternatives. Uh, use of the alfalfa that he would take. Joe has the existing product of Alpha Chew, which does consume additional alfalfa as well, not only the alpha pouches. Okay. 
I'm going to go back to your financials for a second because you said something wasn't included in the marketing expenses that was on the executive summary that we have. So do you have a slide with your income statement that has that on there? Because everything here adds up to what you have. And I'm trying to figure out where those sponsorship dollars are all coming in at, where the cost for the app development's coming in, because you have some pretty vague categories here. So all of the marketing expenses are under marketing expenses, and those are not, the specific categories are not listed on the executive summary. Mm -hmm. Specific categories. Like. Thank you everyone for joining us this afternoon. Uh, if you'd like to head down toward Exhibit Hall B, we will start our awards presentation at about 5.45 or so. Uh, but we do need everyone to clear out of this room for now. Thank you. Thank you.